This is a NAES training video on the new NAES Interlibrary Loan System Quick Links, how to use them and how to create them. For this training video, I am going to be working at the Newt School Library. I am already logged in to the Newt School Library account for Interlibrary Loan. I can tell that because it has my name up here, N-H-T-N-W-T-I-L-L. -L. So Quick Links are available from this little heart in the top corner of your screen. There were three quick links set up for all libraries when we went live with the system. Those three quick links are the request manager, print shipping labels, and search library information. To view the quick links, I click on the little heart and it displays the quick links menu. In addition to the default quick links, I also have an access link to the staff dashboard and whatever recent staff menus this particular login has used. The quick links are login specific. That means anyone who is logging in using the TNWTILL account is going to have this same list of three. And if I do anything to this list, I add to it, I delete it, I reorganize it, anyone who logs in with this same account is going to see the revised quick links. So if you share logins with colleagues at your library, you'll want to coordinate before you make changes here to make sure you're not messing up what somebody else needs to use. So from this quick links menu, menu, I can go to any of these things, like the request manager, for example, and when I get there, I will find that I have these little numbered bubbles across the top of my screen. Those relate to those quick links that have been defined. Quick link zero is the request manager. Quick link one is the print shipping labels. Quick link two is search library information. And you'll notice in the little pop-up that it is telling you what menu those things came off of from the staff dashboard. So if I go to the staff dashboard, I will see that all of those things are things that are here in the interlibrary loan administration menu. I also have from the staff dashboard another interface for those same quick links. Instead of them being little bubbles across the top, they're a little menu over here on the left. So request manager, print ship labels, search library information are still my 0, 1, 2 quick links. So if I want to add an additional item to the quick links, I can do that from here on the staff dashboard. Say I want to add some statistics information. I want to add information about lender statistics to my quick links so that I can easily find my lender statistics. In order to do that, I want to scroll down to the thing that I want and a little plus mark will show up on the side. I click on that and then up at the top I see item added and I can say OK and make that window go away or I can just ignore it and it will go away after a little while. And now I have a, th a fourth quick link which is quick link number three. For some reason they number from zero. I don't know why that is but it is. Um, so lender statistics is now quick link three on my list. If I go and if I go back up here to the heart, there are now four quick links, zero to three. So the menu for quick links here is now showing an additional item. If I decided that I wanted to rearrange them so that my lender statistics would be the very first thing that I have, it would be quick link zero, I can scoot it up here. I picked it up with this little cross mark on the side and then I just drag it up to where I want it. Notice the list updated is there to tell me that I've done that. So now lender statistics is zero, request manager is one, print shipping labels is two, and search library information is three. And over here on the staff dashboard you can see under the gray if I click that. So my menu goes away when I click out of it, but I can still see it over here on the staff dashboard what my other choices are. So search library information is one of the defaults and it allows me to search for information about any other library. So for example, if I would like to know who is the Lilac Public Library and where would I find them if I wanted to find them, I can type in Lilac, click submit, and I get taken to their 
participant information, which includes a phone number, the name of their ILL person, um, and an email address. So then I can go back to the quick links and go back to my request manager, or I can go to print shipping labels, or to anything that I want to do that is a quick link. Now if I want to if I've changed my mind and decided I don't like those changes that I made, I can come back here to the little heart, bring up the Quick Links menu, and I can move Lender Statistics back down to the bottom. And maybe I don't use shipping labels at all. Maybe I just use my own van delivery slips and write my number on them and do it that way. Lots of libraries do that. That's a completely acceptable way to go. Um, so I'm not really going to print shipping labels anyway. After I have checked with everyone else who works at the Newt School Library to make sure they aren't going to print shipping labels either and won't be bothered by the absence of this quick link, I can delete it. I do that by clicking on the little trash can and it will go away. And now I have renumbered request manager zero, library information is one, lender statistics is two. So I now have a new set of quick links, which is reflected anywhere that the quick links show. So my request manager list, or my request managers there on my staff dashboard, the new list is the new one instead of the defaults. So that is how you can use quick links, how you can add them or delete them from your list, and where they will take you. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions about how to use quick links or any other element of the New Hampshire Automated Information System Interlibrary Loan, please call the NAES Help Desk at 603-271-2141 or contact us by email at the address on your screen. Thank you.